What is up everyone, Move Away and back again with another unboxing video. However, this is a first for the channel really. This is the first time I'm ever going to unbox a video game on the channel because this edition I got of Elden Ring has a few things in it. Now, I have took the cardboard off and the cellophane. I do apologise for that. But I just wanted to get the disc installed. <laughs> now, the disc is in here. I am going to show that. But it is all installed on my PlayStation 5. But I'm going to show you the good stuff anyway. Plus, it will give me a chance to talk about why I bought this game. Um, Because this isn't a developer that I am too familiar with. Now, I will explain as I go on with this video. I also will give me a chance to talk about another series I might be starting. And I'll talk about that after I've showed you what's in the contents of this box. So, Elden Ring, why did I buy this game? Well, my cousin, Michael, who I work with, hates hard games. He's never been a fan of them or anything. And he bought Demon Souls on the PlayStation 5 because it's a new console and he just wants to see the graphical capabilities and he said he's going to give it a go. And he said he absolutely fell in love with the game. He then went back and played Dark Souls 1, 2 and 3 and Bloodborne. And he said they're some of the best games he's ever played. He said he'd have Dark Souls and Dark Souls 3 in his top 10 games of all time and stuff. So that got me intrigued and then he started telling me about this game that was coming. And... I was just not really interested because I played Bloodborne for about eight hours and I gave up. I, I just thought it was too hard and I played about an hour's worth of Dark Souls 3 and that was it. However, when he told me that this was going to be open world and stuff, I got a little bit more interested. But let's just get this box open and I'll tell you the story of why I bought this on the way. So here we have the box. It's a nice little cover. It just screams that this game's going to be hard, doesn't it? And it is from From Software, who make, you know, Bloodborne and Dark Souls and stuff. So there's the spine and there's the back. There is no summary or anything on the back. I don't know if that's part of, part of the quirkiness or whatever <laughs> of From Software and what they do and try and keep it a little bit secret. But you've got a dragon on there and stuff. And it just says the contents of the pack. You also have Elden Ring on there. There's the side, which I'll open now, and there's the bottom. Now, it's a nice little edition. This is from Amazon, and it only cost me £45, which pushed me a little bit further. I thought it was going to be, like, 70 And then I looked at the pre-order price, uh, the pre-order launch edition. It was £45. I can't really argue. I was going to buy it anyway. Now, what pushed me over the edge, apart from my cousin telling me about it, was IGN's review. I watched that video, and I was blown away. And I thought, you know what? This world looks incredible. I need to be a part of it. I will overcome the difficulty and try and get into it because this looks like a world I can't miss out on. They gave it a 10 out of 10 and nearly every other website I've checked give it a 10. GameSpot and stuff. Any game that gets a 10, I'm trying it. So the we do have the case here and the back sort of shows that dragon again, another monster and the world at the top basically. It's okay cover art. I don't think it's a great cover art. It's okay. But it does just scream <laughs> difficulty, doesn't it? So inside, we got the disc. Now, there is no alternate artwork. It's just, like, instructions and stuff there. But we do have... I'm just going to cover this code because I do want it. It's a QR code. I don't know what for. Maybe some cosmetics or something. Yeah, something to do with points and stuff in games. You get that in there. Now, this looks interesting. <laughs> I'll just open this up really quick. It's going to be one of them packs that is incredibly hard to open, isn't it? Oh, here we go. I think this is a beer mat or something. I don't know what it is. So we just have something there telling us not to iron it and stuff. Okay, I won't. <laughs> so this is, I don't know what that is, but it looks like a little badge or something. Hope I'm holding that up the right way. Kind of cool. I do plan on getting like a bar <laughs> in my garden at some point. And I'm going to do it maybe movie and video game. You know, geek themed. So if I'm a fan of this game, I'll put that in somewhere on a pin board or something. So that is the Elden Ring cover and box art. Very, very nice. PlayStation 5. 
So inside, we do have, I don't know what these are, but they look like stickers or something. This isn't bad for £45, is it? Let's be honest. Got another one there. I mean, the game alone's worth that. And another one. So they've got three stickers there. And we do have <clears throat> this postcard case. So let's open that up. Very carefully. I think there's a poster in here and some postcards. So I'll show the postcards first. Ooh, that looks like a difficult place to get through. <laughs> um, this castle. Now I've heard that some of these castles and stuff are just like games within the game themselves. Like... You could spend days in this castle just trying to get through it and stuff. So the world looks incredible. It really does. Okay, we got our main character. I know you can pick different classes and stuff. Sitting at a bonfire there with... Is that a horse or something? Or some different type of creature that you might ride. Very nice. And then we have... Look, look like part of the world. I forgot the name of the world in the game, but with loads of rays of light coming down and stuff, that looks great. And then we have this poster, I think. Yes, it is a poster. Wow. Very nice. I like that. Great artwork there. Great stuff. Okay, guys, that is basically what's in the box. Um, I can't wait to get stuck into this later on. I'll just uh, cover that up later. Can't wait to get stuck into this later on. Um, but I'm kind of scared. Because <laughs> I know I'm going to die a lot. I just need to get that patience within myself to get through this game. But the, the, the open world looks incredible. And that was another thing that pushed me. The open world. Hopefully you'll get a bit more breathing space than Dark Souls and Bloodborne. That's another thing that kind of pushed me. And I'm hoping that they can bring a lot of new players in. Now, I do feel like games these days are a little bit too easy. So, hopefully this can, you know, make gamers appreciate difficulty, I suppose. Because it can be rewarding when difficult games, you surpass different stages and stuff. Like Cuphead, it's one of my favourite games of the modern era. And it's so rewarding when you pass a level after trying it for so, hard, for so long. So, it, it, sometimes it is worth getting that difficulty spike and getting past it. But I am going to give this one a solid go. And I hope I overcome it and do enjoy the game. But, that is Elden Ring, basically. Now, the series I was talking about that I was maybe going to start is what I've been playing. Now, I probably won't do this very often. It'll probably just be every two or three months when I play, like, what, five games. And I can just come on here and talk about them. They could be anything because I own an Xbox One, I own a PS5 and a Switch. So it could be a mixture of things there. Would that be something you guys would like to see? Let me know. Um, this is going to be remain 99% movie related, this channel. But I do like to do the odd gaming video on there. So maybe I could talk about Elden Ring on the next video. I've been playing the Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition. Which I don't see the hate for whatsoever. So maybe that would be interesting to talk about. Like four or five games in one video. Kind of like my end of month vlogs. But just when i played enough games basically. No set date or anything. Just when I've played about five games. So let me know if that's something you'd like to do. I think that would be a fun video to make. Um, but yeah. If you guys have played Elden Ring, leave your comments down below and let me know how the game is. Uh, as a newcomer, what do you think? You know, from software fans, do you think I'll be able to get into this? Or, so, you know, have I made a mistake? <laughs> Obviously, if you're a fan, you don't think that, but I think a lot of people may also give up with this game. So I hope I'm not one of them because the world just looks incredible. Uh, please consider subscribing to this channel. I do quite a few unboxings on here when I get the chance, but it's mainly movie related reviews, um, you know, top tens and stuff. I do a lot of different stuff on here. So please consider hitting that subscribe button and giving this video a like. It would really help the channel. Thanks so much, guys. Take it all easy. and I'll see you all next video.